Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome to Succession Law Uganda. You are preferred uh, channel uh, for uh, taxation in Uganda. Today we look at uh, some extremely important aspects of business income, particularly the computational aspect. My name is Norman Nyang, as usual. So uh, this is a very vital topic uh, when it comes to uh, you having a firm grip on the computational uh, aspects uh, of business uh, income in Uganda. So uh, how best uh, to look at this uh, other than by looking at uh, a problem uh, question. Uh, remember, uh, if you have uh, missed uh, our introductory uh, videos uh, to taxation and to business income, uh, I invite you to look at those videos before you go ahead and look at uh, this particular uh, video of today. So we begin uh, the session uh, by looking at uh, quite uh, an interesting question here, uh, which talks of a company by the names of Banya Uganda Limited. We are given their profit and loss account uh, for a particular year. Uh, that's the year ending 30th June. Uh, you can see uh, we are given the, the income as well as uh, all their uh, expenses. We have the profit uh, before tax there uh, as uh, 138 million. But quite uh, importantly for us is for us to look at the, the requirement. So uh, definitely we are going to be required to make some adjustments. So our requirement uh, goes, determine the chargeable income and tax liability for the year ended 30th June. So uh, what are we basically doing? We have been given the income statement of a company uh, before adjustment. So we are supposed to look at that income statement and also compare it with the additional information uh, to make the, the adjustment. So here we can clearly see that we have eight pieces of additional information uh, which we, we need to, to use to make the adjustment. But also quite importantly, uh, quite vitally for us and crucially, there are definitely certain types of expenses that may appear within the within the uh, profit and loss account even before the adjustment uh, that with the additional information we are given. Those may require a direct adjustment. For example, we have an expense uh, such as depreciation. Uh, this even if we are not told that this is not tax allowable depreciation or uh, capital allowance, definitely that would have to be adjustment. Uh, would have to be adjusted. It would require an adjustment. So there is no obligation for the examiner to tell us that uh, this is not tax uh, allowable depreciation. As long as we see it appearing on the face of uh, the profit and loss account, uh, we know that uh, that definitely uh, requires an adjustment uh, there. Another expense, of course, that should uh, definitely be our first. I would be quite disappointed if a student uh, got a question paper or a question for that matter and began with any other adjustment other than uh, depreciation on the prof well, which is on the profit and loss account. I think that would be uh, quite disappointing. So this should be our very, very, very uh, first adjustment uh, depreciation uh, there. So I invite you to have a copy of this question paper. I hope uh, many of you students have it. Uh, if you don't have, uh, then uh, definitely uh, well, we shall provide for you uh, a link to uh, to download it, or uh, you can make a request for it, and then uh, we can have it available. But the question is available on the screen uh, for all of us. The only uh, uh, challenge is as I'm making this adjustment, I may be uh, prefer to refer to a hard copy uh, other than a soft copy, uh, which will uh, disrupt our flow of work on the screen. So, uh, what are the pieces of additional information uh, before we get onto the uh, real computations? 
of course the computations uh, will also involve us uh, quoting uh, extremely relevant uh, sections of the law so the first of those uh, is that uh, the penalty uh, was made to the government for non-compliance with KCCA laws on on parking the penalty was made for non-compliance with KCCA laws on on parking so we know that our penalties are not tax allowable of whatever category if you found uh, for example uh, driving on a highway at uh, uh, maybe on a road that has a speed limit of 100 kilometers per hour and you're driving at 200 kilometers per hour uh, it then doesn't matter that you are going to execute a company obligation uh, that is a fine and will not be a tax allowable yes it will appear on the company's profit and loss account but will not be uh, tax allowable uh, that's uh, the position uh, as well taken by section uh, 22 subsection 2f uh, we'll be quoting all those in our detailed calculation the second adjustment 65 percent of professional fees paid includes money used to purchase a motor vehicle uh, used in the distribution uh, of goods what happens to that uh, that is that is a capital expenditure so uh, it shall not be allowed uh, we will look at the relevant uh, provision in section 26 the third of those uh, of course uh, all sections uh, we shall be referring to here are sections of the income tax uh, act of uganda the third adjustment the general expense includes barrier expense of 1.5 million well legal costs to increase a share capital of 4 million and 2 million being a donation by uh, by rotary 2 million uh, being uh, a donation by, by uh, a donation to rotary so there are three categories of expenses that we definitely uh, need to adjust the first of those are the barrio barrio expenses of 1.5 million uh, that one is not used directly in deriving chargeable uh, income uh, legal costs uh, to increase share capital of 4 million uh, that to me appears appears like a capital uh, expenditure so uh, definitely uh, legal costs uh, will have to be added back because uh, it is uh, contributing to 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 increasing uh, share capital what is the next uh, donation to a uh, rotary club uh, rotary is a charitable uh, organization so as such uh, the provision of uh, section 34 will uh, look at that as well uh, that's uh, quite uh, the approach we are going to take uh, the fourth of those uh, the company paid a short-term premium lease a short-term premium lease is a cap is a revenue expense so uh, for this uh, for taxation purposes it is definitely allowable the wear and tear deductions uh, under section 27 was 36 million so they have been given us the relevant uh, section already so uh, that will be included as well in the uh, final stage of uh, our computation at least that won't be added back uh, the the seventh of the uh, additional information uh, to lead us to adjustment talks of the employees meals and refreshment for domestic purposes being 7 million are not included in employees uh, income uh, for the year now if it's not included in the in the employees income what uh, what uh, position of the law uh, do we have definitely if you look at uh, section 23 it only recognizes this uh, expense to the extent that uh, it was uh, included uh, in the employees uh, income for the year so that's the position of section uh, 19 subsection 1 what then is our last adjustment but debts included uh, but debts include uh, 14 million of bad debts are written off and 10 million for uh, the general provision for bad debts so uh, what do we anticipate here a provision is definitely 
are not going to be included in our uh, calculation for bad uh, debts. Uh, we'll, we'll explore that uh, in a lot more uh, detail uh, by looking at uh, uh, section uh, 23, uh, subsection uh, 3 there. So uh, off we go, off we go uh, to our calculation to determine the chargeable income and tax liability for the year ended uh, 30th June of uh, 2000. 30th June of 2018 there. So uh, what would be uh, our uh, our starting point? Our starting point, so we can uh, begin our uh, working as usual by uh, labeling it there as the solution. So the, the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to be making adjustments so we can uh, clearly state the item once we state the item, we shall also need to know the section of the law and uh, the amount there that we are having. So as we are given uh, in the question, uh, we can have a glance at the question together uh, for one more time. So we are given uh, the revenue of the company and we already have the uh, operating expenses, we are given the incomes and the operating expenses and the profit before interest and tax, uh, what is uh, very commonly referred to as PBIT, profit before uh, interest and tax, is 138 million. So our calculation is going to begin with the, figure, the profit before uh, interest and tax and that is 138 million, 100,000. So uh, that is uh, our starting point. That's our starting point. So once we have that, we can then start making uh, adjustments. And uh, as we come back, uh, we shall definitely uh, 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 insert the relevant uh, sections of the law and also uh, do the, uh, the computations there. So our starting point uh, will uh, certainly be uh, profit before interest and, and tax so uh, what is uh, what is that figure of course that one we don't need to put the section uh, we already given the amount as 138 million 100 thousand so uh, we then begin uh, to uh, take an approach of we are going to do two things uh, please be very systematic because this is nothing uh, complicated. We are going to start by adding the, allow the, the disallowables. So if we are adding the disallowables, those will definitely increase our chargeable income. So when we add the disallowables, once we are done with that, once, once, once we, 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 we add the disallowables, then we are going to do less the allowables. We, what are the expenses we are referring to as allowables? The expenses we are referring to as allowables are expenses are purely allowable for, for tax. Those are the allowables. And then the disallowables are expenses not allowable for tax. So uh, we'll take uh, the uniform approach that I suggested as such we shall begin with depreciation so uh, depreciation uh, being a very uh, well-known non-tax allowable uh, expense of course uh, that provision uh, is given uh, section 27 uh, but i think uh, let's uh, flow with the calculation we'll insert the uh, the sections uh, later uh, if you let me so uh, the next one is uh, an expense we are given uh, on the face of the uh, profit and loss account uh, because remember all these expenses can be uh, disallowable depending on the additional information that you're given but there are certain types of expenses that from the onset we do not expect them to be allowable and as such are disallowable 
but others will require a lot more detail. Let me give an example. If you look at an expense, uh, like telephone expenses, we are given 15 million. Uh, if it were included in the adjustment, and then maybe they say one third of the telephone expenses were used by the director for his personal business. So you definitely know that one third of that expense is not used wholly in deriving the uh, chargeable uh, income there. Because remember, as we are deciding which expenses are allowable and which ones are not, we have a general rule. We have general rules, as you'd expect, and our general rule is uh, the rule in section uh, 22, subsection 1a. That's a general rule. And what does it state? Uh, this uh, section talks of all expenses and losses incurred by the uh, tax person, by the person uh, to read directly during the year of income to the extent to which that expense uh, were incurred in deriving chargeable income. So if the director used the third of uh, the uh, figure on the profit and loss, on the face of the profit and loss account for his personal uh, business, definitely uh, that one, the, that expense uh, was definitely not incurred in production uh, of income uh, there. That So uh, that's the kind of uh, stand we are going to take. Uh, we need to be, uh, it's a systematic approach, but uh, definitely uh, we need to uh, we need to take uh, a particular uh, stand. So the next uh, expense, uh, which uh, probably uh, maybe what I should do, uh, we can include uh, the expense of uh, depreciation. Uh, the expense of depreciation, uh, which we are given uh, here, is 28,400,000. I promise uh, uh, we shall come back and insert the, the relevant section. So depreciation, there leads us to a figure of 28,400,000. Another expense, uh, which uh, on the face of the profit and loss account, uh, looks like uh, qualifies to be uh, disallowed and as such added back is the expense of entertainment. What's with uh, entertainment? Remember, entertainment, entertainment is only uh, added if it was included in uh, employment income under section 19 uh, subsection 1. To this effect, we have no information that entertainment uh, was included. So as such, most likely, unless uh, we find some information uh, in the write-up, uh, to the contrary, that expense is also going to be uh, added back. Uh, what was the uh, expense for entertainment? Entertainment, we had a figure of 12 million. So what then follows? We now begin with the additional information. The first piece of additional information states that the penalty was made to government for non-compliance with KCCA laws on parking. For whatever reason, any penalty is not allowed. That is the position in section 22, subsection 2F. So uh, we then uh, begin. So what's with the penalty? I think this one we can uh, actually uh, quote the uh, the section. Uh, will maybe it could save us a lot more time uh, to make the uh, the recording less. So uh, according to uh, section uh, 22, uh, subsection 2F, uh, penalties are are not uh, allowable for whatever reason. Uh, if you were caught uh, driving at uh, 200 kilometers per hour, as I said. Uh, on a on a road uh, that was, for example, uh, having a speed limit of 100 kilometers, uh, you have that penalty. Maybe you uh, you have a penalty for over speeding. Maybe you did so uh, while uh, you were your alcohol content was uh, high. You also have an extra penalty uh, there for uh, drink driving. So uh, two penalties for one incident there. For whatever reason. Uh, that penalty uh, will never be uh, allowed. That's the position uh, in uh, section uh, 22 uh, 2F. 
So uh, the implication of that uh, on our calculation is that uh, the 8 million, uh, yes, the 8 million, the, the 8 million there will be uh, added back. So uh, at least you can uh, see our calculation there, uh, gaining shape. So uh, the penalty is also uh, going to uh, be added back. Uh, what then follows? 65% of the professional fees paid includes money used to purchase a motor vehicle used in uh, the distribution of, of goods. Now, a motor vehicle uh, used for distribution of goods, that is a capital asset. And all capital uh, assets, unless they are less than uh, 50 uh, currency points, uh, that's about 1 million shillings, are not uh, included. Uh, what is 65% of the, uh, the professional fees? 65% of 120 million. Uh, let me just uh, uh, do that computation here. It's about 78 million. So 78 million uh, is clearly uh, way above the allowable uh, 1 million. So what then follows? We are going to add uh, back uh, the figure. Uh, this was, well, controversially referred to as professional fees. Anyway, but uh, what was uh, co considered as professional fees was uh, money used in the uh, purchase of, of motor vehicle. So we, we now know that uh, we are adding back the component which was used in the purchase of the motor vehicle. Uh, what's our computation there? We have 65% of uh, 120 million there for us. Uh, we can have it like that, have a better layout for us. And what uh, what uh, section of the law uh, are we using? What section of the law are we using for this uh, second uh, adjustment? Uh, I think the whole of uh, section 26 uh, would be uh, relevant, but particularly we can use uh, section 26, subsection 2 uh, there. And uh, we just came up with uh, 78 million. So uh, that will sit on the face of our uh, computation. What then follows? The third adjustment, the general expenses include uh, burial expenses. Uh, these are not uh, you expenses uh, incurred in the production of income. So however uh, courteous uh, the company was in giving a hand uh, to their to their employees uh, during uh, terrible times uh, it is really appreciated uh, it is quite courteous for the company to do so but for taxation purposes uh, sadly and very sadly this expense uh, will be uh, will be added back this expense uh, will be added back. And so uh, that is uh, our position in section 22, subsection 1A, uh, quite unfortunately, as I said. So that then means uh, this expense of 1,500,000 will also find uh, its way uh, to the face of our computation there. Uh, legal costs. To increase uh, share capital uh, of 4 million. Uh, legal costs, remember, I told you uh, these are capital uh, expenditure, and, accord, and uh, as such, uh, we shall look at section 26, uh, subsection 2. Remember, uh, this is more than the 1 million or the 50 currency points. So legal costs uh, will uh, find their way uh, back into our uh, tax uh, computation there. And uh, the figure we were given was 
four million. So it also sits there. What then follows? Uh, what then follows? Uh, we were also given two million being donation to Rotary Club, Rotary Club of Lugogo Mango Tree. Now the the adjustment. If you look at a Rotary Club, if you look at a Rotary Club, and then uh, Section 34, the, uh, the charitable organizations, which are later on defined uh, under Section uh, 2 uh, BB. Uh, charitable uh, exempt organizations, uh, I beg your pardon, we have exempt organizations in Section 34. And the interpretation or the description for uh, exempt organizations is given in Section 2B. B. What's the meaning uh, uh, of that? Uh, this section uh, was, is actually construed uh, to include charitable organizations. I wouldn't want to go into the other provisions. Of course, it includes uh, amateur sports association, professional bodies, and so on. But uh, Rotary is a charitable uh, organization. So uh, this expense, I uh, will not, this uh, expense will not be uh, added back. So uh, we can uh, maybe, uh, what we can do, uh, we can uh, include, uh, we, shall show, we can show it as a zero, just to make sure that uh, everyone everyone can follow. And then, of course, the, the marker or examiner uh, can know exactly uh, the kind of uh, serious uh, uh, student who has a grip on the principal. So, uh, the donation to the Rotary, to Rotary, uh, this one we can uh, put in brackets, exempt, so the impact uh, will be zero, uh, and what the relevant section, which are uh, exempt which uh, uh, talks about uh, the exempt organization, exempt donation, sorry, that is uh, section uh, 34 there for us. So uh, what then follows, uh, we may need to uh, move a bit faster. The company paid a short-term uh, premium lease. The company paid a short-term premium lease of of 1 million. Now if you look at the uh, the premium lease of 1 million, uh, this sh uh, short term lease uh, is not a capital expense. It is not uh, a capital uh, expense. It is actually exactly 1 million but also it is an expense uh, directly uh, incurred in the production of, of income. So uh, maybe to try and uh, not make uh, this uh, so long, we can uh, include it there. Uh, remember, this one will be deducted. It was not. It was not deducted, so it has to reduce our uh, tax liability from the face of the uh, profit before uh, interest and tax. So uh, this one is uh, definitely uh, allowable, and as such, uh, we are going to. Uh, we are going to to deduct it so uh, we can include that uh, the lease expense uh, what is our authority there section 22 because uh, we were actually told remember we do not have uh, if you look at the the short-term lease, it's not included in any of our expenses because we have salaries, we have entertainment, penalty, professional fees, transport, depreciation, general expenses whose breakdown we have been given, telephone expenses, rent and rates, and bad debt. So uh, clearly we can see that the, the lease payment was not included. So as such, uh, we shall take a stand uh, from section 22. Uh, 1A, of course, uh, knowing uh, very well that uh, 
this was a revenue uh, expense it's not a capital uh, expense such as an expense uh, used in the acquisition uh, of a capital uh, asset so that then means uh, we shall subtract uh, allow me to use brackets where their deductions could uh, actually uh, help us uh, to do the computation uh, a bit faster so having handled uh, the fourth adjustment uh, we then go to the uh, fifth the company paid annual subscription of uh, two million to Kampala uh, City uh, Traders Association uh, that is Casita now the uh, subscriptions are allowed this is an allowable uh, deduction uh, that's uh, still an expense uh, incurred uh, in the production uh, of uh, uh, chargeable income uh, because uh, these membership uh, associations are quite uh, quite uh, important uh, in the course of uh, conducting uh, these uh, businesses so it's directly uh, attributable uh, to the trade so that then means uh, we are going to take a stand uh, on our fifth uh, adjustment and that is a uh, subscription to Casita. Uh, so this will reduce our tax. Uh, it will reduce our chargeable uh, income. It will reduce our chargeable income and eventually the, the tax are payable to the extent of the amount which we are given of 2 million. Uh, let me just quote the, the most uh, appropriate uh, section which uh, we are based on uh, to take our stand so we also have here a minus of 2 million so uh, having done the uh, fifth adjustment we are told by the uh, sixth adjustment the wear and tear deductions under section 27 was 36 uh, million so uh, if we look at uh, section 27 of course uh, this is like uh, uh, telling us that uh, that's already the computed uh, wear and tear but also if you look at section uh, 27 it only has one exception and it excludes assets of uh, subsection 26 uh, sorry, it excludes uh, assets in uh, 26 subsection 2 and those are the ones the ones in 26 subsection 2 are the ones that are uh, less uh, 50 currency points or less and of course clearly uh, 36 million is more than the 50 currency point. So what is our stand? Our stand is that uh, this allowance is that uh, this wear and tear uh, so, uh, I beg your pardon this wear and tear will reduce our uh, chargeable uh, income and as such uh, it will be uh, less so our position of course we are we are we uh, we already given the section wear and tear uh, just to fit in our already developed format uh, that is a uh, section 27 and uh, the implication of that is that we shall have a deduction of 36 a million there i can see i can see uh, we are we are really moving we are really moving uh, towards the last two adjustments uh, what is our uh, seventh adjustment the employees meals and refreshments for domestic purposes of 7 million were not included in the employees income for the year so if uh, if the the meals and refreshment uh, were not uh, were not uh, included in the employees uh, income for the year uh, what uh, what is our stand remember the the position the position uh, that we have in uh, section uh, 23 and it says uh, this is uh, only included if the uh, if uh, the value of the meals or entertainment was included in employment income of an employer under section 19 subsection 1 so by the examiner telling us in the seventh adjustment 
that the employees' meals and refreshments were not included in the employee's income for the year, it definitely means that it is not going to it is not going to uh, uh, it is not going to be uh, deducted. So uh, that is our uh, stand regarding the uh, the seven million for the uh, meals and refreshments. Had it been included, then uh, definitely uh, it would be it would be uh, deducted. It would be allowable. So we lose uh, that expense uh, by virtue uh, of provisions of uh, section uh, 23, uh, and of course uh, interconnecting us with uh, uh, section 19, uh, subsection 1 uh, there of employment uh, income. So, uh, the next, uh, the last and uh, final adjustment is uh, relating to uh, the bad debts. Uh, what is the seventh adjustment? Bad debts include 14 million of bad debts written off. Uh, that's okay. Uh, those are definitely allowable. And 10 million for general provision. When I look at this word provision, uh, I definitely uh, know that there's something wrong and I have to add it back. So uh, the, the, the uh, provisions are definitely are going to be uh, added back. So we uh, take a stand there and add it back and say provision for, for bad debts as we really move uh, towards uh, the end of uh, this session. And uh, our authority here is section 26, subsection uh, 3, which looks at uh, bad, uh, the, which looks at the, uh, the bad debt uh, there. Uh, it also goes ahead to tell us, let's just read it again together, bad debts include 14 million of bad debts written off, uh, we saw that is fine, and 10 million for general provision for bad debts. That's where the problem is, but we can finish the sentence. Banya took all reasonable steps to recover the bad debts written off, but failed. I think that fits within the provision of uh, the whole of section 26. Uh, if you read it there, uh, you'll find that the 14 million uh, qualifies uh, to be a tax uh, deductible uh, expense. However, the six, uh, the 10 million uh, by virtue of uh, 26 uh, subsection 3 uh, doesn't qualify. So the meaning of that is that uh, we are going to have uh, 10 million added back. That is the implication. And uh, having really done our, our last adjustment, uh, that was adjustment 8. So uh, we then uh, go on to compute, uh, to make the computation to get our chargeable income. So uh, what will be our chargeable, our chargeable income? So our chargeable income uh, will be got by uh, getting, uh, we have now to, to pull out our calculators and do some uh, compute some mathematical arithmetic or arithmetic computations. So we have 138 million 100,000 and uh, we started by adding back 28 million 400,000. We also went ahead to add back 12 million. We also went ahead to add back 8 million. We also added back 78 million. I hope you can uh, get your calculators and uh, join me in the computations. We also added up uh, barrio, added back barrier expenses. Those were 1.5 million. We also uh, added back uh, legal costs of 4 million, uh, given that uh, they were more than uh, 1 million or 50 currency points. We also added back the 10 million uh, for for bad provision for, uh, there it was, provision for bad debts. And uh, the ones that were allowable were uh, the lease 
of 1 million uh, that qualified to be deducted. Uh, the subscription to the uh, City Traders Association, uh, that was another 2 million there. And then uh, the uh, provision of 20, section 27 uh, had us uh, deducting wear and tear of, of 36 million. So uh, there, that is our uh, stand uh, which we have. And uh, my calculation gives a chargeable income. You can definitely do and compare because in the exam, I will definitely have to be free with your calculator there. So the chargeable income here is uh, 241 million. And so the tax payable, uh, sorry, this question asked for tax liability, uh, which is not the same as tax payable, but we shall assume that uh, the company had uh, no other uh, uh, tax obligations uh, leading up to this. And so uh, the tax payable uh, in this case uh, will be the same as the tax liability. And so uh, by provision of the 30% uh, in the Income Tax Act, uh, you may not need to uh, quote that uh, particular schedule, but the computation for tax payable will now lead us to having 30%, which is uh, 30 over 100 of the uh, 241 million there, which we got. And uh, our tax payable by my uh, calculation or computation will be 72 million 300,000. And uh, surely uh, that's the, uh, that's our, uh, what the question uh, required us to do. That's what the, the question really required us to do uh, there. So uh, you can see that however long the question is, you just need to keep your, uh, your nerves calm. Start by uh, writing the, 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 the figure for uh, profit uh, before interest and tax. Uh, this is given at the end of the question. Maybe let's uh, just have an overview. Start by uh, copying the figure or rewriting the profit before uh, interest uh, and tax. And then after that, uh, start looking at uh, the tax, this, uh, the expenses that are not uh, tax allowable, such as depreciation appearing on the uh, face of the profit and loss account. Those have to be uh, added back. Once you add back that, uh, look for any other obvious expenses uh, appearing on the face of the profit and loss account, uh, like we identified uh, entertainment. This company clearly are uh, not in the uh, business of, of entertainment. So you, you include that, you add that back, and then start looking at the adjustments one by one. Keep as calm as possible. Do not panic. In a worst case scenario where you do not know what to do with a particular adjustment, Take a stand. Uh, you may only lose one mark uh, for that. Uh, if you're not sure and it has really bothered you, you can exclude it. Do not get stuck uh, and yet you can gather uh, other marks. Yet you can gather lots of other marks from making other obvious adjustments. So if out of eight uh, adjustments, you have two also adjustments that have really bothered you and you cannot apply, please ignore them and move on and make sure that you have uh, a final computation of chargeable income and then a uh, tax payable. Uh, there will definitely be some um, follow through marks there. Uh, otherwise, if you lose everything uh, because you cannot make uh, uh, one or two adjustments and because of that, you decide not to have a final figure uh, for, uh, for uh, chargeable income. I think that would be uh, quite uh, unfortunate and uh, uh, missing out on uh, very obvious marks, uh, which is what uh, each and every uh, student, uh, regardless of the level, uh, would need. I would just like to uh, insert these uh, two sections as we move to the uh, end of the, uh, the recording. Uh, I had uh, not uh, included 
uh, the section uh, for depreciation. Depreciation is not tax uh, allowable, but uh, we can refer to a uh, section 27 there. Uh, it talks of the the uh, provisions for uh, tax allowable uh, depreciation, and then uh, the entertainment. I would like uh, we refer to uh, section uh, 23. So uh, thank you very much uh, for taking uh, the time and the patience uh, to listen to this uh, extremely uh, lengthy uh, video. Uh, lengthy because uh, we needed to uh, really make uh, quite some uh, elaborations uh, there. We needed to make some very, very important elaborations uh, which which every which every student uh, needs so uh, thank you uh, once again uh, um, the video is brought to you by taxation law uganda uh, if you like our videos uh, you can go ahead to uh, click the subscribe uh, button uh, just uh, at the bottom right corner of this video you can also make uh, suggestions to us about uh, specific areas of taxation, uh, maybe that you need uh, us to make uh, further uh, clarification. Until then, I wish you uh, all the best uh, in all your endeavors. Thank you.